Private barrel selections are an incredible way of people being able to get hold of whiskies that are usually more difficult for people to get their hands on. It's where a distillery will sell a barrel to maybe a retail shop or a collector or a bar and then that bar basically has that barrel and they can bottle out of that barrel directly and it's kind of their own private whiskey of that brand. The bourbon market has really exploded. We've got a whole new audience of engaged connoisseurs, of collectors who know more about the product than they ever have and that has kind of fed into this idea of the private barrel selection. What makes a private barrel unique is you picked it. Depending on how many bottles that barrel yields, there is not another drop of whiskey in the world that's just like that. The modern market for store picks is incredibly popular, and as that has, has grown and progressed, we've seen an increasing interest in these kind of historical examples of these private barrel selections from the kind of 1990s and early 2000s. These can take the form of rare single cask Pappy Van Winkle and, and probably most notably the Willett family estate. And these really were bottles from a different period in how this process worked. These were often kind of really engaged fan groups or bars or retailers that had almost unrestricted access to the warehouses of these bottlers and distillers. And the result is that these are exceptional whiskies. They're exceptionally rare and are becoming increasingly sought after. There are some very particular famous barrel pickers, and that adds just another layer of exclusivity. So if you have a Van Winkle barrel selected by a famous group for picking barrels, you just have a double whammy there in one bottle. One of the key drivers for people to collect these private barrel selections is that they, on the face of them, appear very much like recognized brands, but there's this huge variation in the liquid that people have chosen to represent them. They're very difficult to get a hold of and they really tap into that kind of thrill of the chase. It's also a really great way for the brands to interact with their customer as well. And I think for their collection, it adds differentiation between maybe what other people might have as well. It's that whole kind of independent experience that you can have that nobody else can have. One of the most notable examples is the Corti Brothers selection of Van Winkle bourbons. These are, you know, legendary bourbons. Daryl Corti advanced this idea of feeding back to the bottler and the distiller about what they felt was the best interpretation of the brand and the best version of the product. At the moment, it's a really interesting time for private barreling. The industry is changing now, so there's a real opportunity now for people to get their hands on really incredible barrels and bottles that they might not be able to in the coming years. So I think at the moment, it's a real change for the industry and people are really excited.